Hello gamers, uh, welcome to a first look at a game called Distant Star Revenant Fleet. A game available in early access, uh, which means, you know, it's really in alpha stage. And when I say alpha stage, I really mean it's an alpha stage. I mean, version is 0.0.1.1, which means that the game doesn't have all the features in and the, ga the game is not really that balanced. And the, the reason why I'm really mentioning this right at the start of the game is because I've encountered some of those, uh, you know, unbalanced things and... Uh, uh, so I, I decided to make a video anyway because I found the game interesting enough and I did found that it had some potential. So I decided to get the word out there so, you know, in case you are curious what this game is about, you will maybe find my video and uh, then you will be able to form an opinion if this is a game you want to purchase or not. If, you want this, if this is a game you want to follow, uh, support, post on the forums and uh, so on. So basically, it's kind of... Uh, this game is kind of a roguelike-ish game where you are jumping through systems in a map that looks like, you know, FTL, let's call it like that, but whenever you are reaching a new location, uh, there are various things that are going to happen, of course, like different stories and so on, but uh, basically the combat is uh, you kind of need to micromanage a uh, a number of maximum five ships and you will see that once we go in but this is kind of the game is about i also love the music from the menu it has like a weird vibe you you, you can't really feel it yet because I, I choose a bad moment to show you the music when it's not having that particular sound You know, this one, it's kind of weird, in a good way. I kind of like it didn't went for that space sound. In a way, this sounds more oriental, Arabic, right? But it's setting me in kind of a weird vibe, in a weird space. So I'm really curious to see what the story of the game is, because at the current state, I kind of don't see a story. There is a story, but it's not really presented to me in an nice way maybe it's intentional maybe or not maybe it's missing maybe they are going to add it later uh, according to the roadmap uh, the game as i've said the game is currently in alpha uh, they plan to go into the beta stage by march when they will stop adding new features and during the beta phase they will uh, uh, start balancing things out and fixing up bugs so i'm looking really forward to that so anyway in just in case the i will do a video when this game is going to come out i'm going to put an annotation somewhere around the video so you can find the final so you can watch the final video anyway you see battle alert battle alert blah 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 and we kind of need to survive the battle as you see why i'm controlling this fleet and there are basically five other spots here two three four and five there is another spot right uh, behind uh, my webcam so basically this is what i'm doing right now i'm controlling this ship each ship has various uh, shield ability shield uh, spot you see four shields and five hull uh, health basically right and uh, each various ship has various uh, abilities as you can see I'm kind of constantly moving uh, so i can avoid uh, incoming projectiles those two dudes are allied with me from what i figured it out but this dude is not so we are going to attack him as you see the game is looking kind of nice and the sound is also kind of nice <laughs> Also nice visual effects, the game is looking uh, pretty good in my opinion. There are these, these little dudes that are still alive. So anyway, the battle is over, objective achieved. This is the battle report where you will see all your ships over here. Some of them will receive damage and they will not, they will be disabled or, uh, you know, some other stuff like that. Basically, the, my, my main ship is currently operational. Uh, you see some part of the story, which I'm not going to read right now, but basically this is the fleet browser where I can basically, I have 1000 credits right now and basically I can uh, get other ships right now. And you see, I also have uh, an attachment and other. On some systems where I'm jumping, I will be able to buy you know, ships or maybe, maybe attachments or maybe other. 
I'm not sure exactly what's at order, but anyway, you see these are the, those are various modules and I can customize my uh, ships better. So let's actually we can buy, you know, so this, is, this is a carrier and the carrier specializes in the suppression of enemy ships and providing targeted battlefield support through deployables. So let's just buy it. Basically right now I have two ships uh, from the fleet size of five. So let's actually click OK and let's jump. And this is basically the screen that we you know when I mention FTL. I've seen various games that are using this system and it's actually a pretty cool uh, system. You see, we can jump here to Imhoru. Not sure exactly what it's there. But basically, Akari probes deployed in the early stages of war discovered a merchandise product facility in the system. It may be already been destroyed. Okay. And basically, we have to reach the exit phase. I have never reached that phase before, but I'm not going to do it now anyway. So basically, we arrived, we see... The mixture dies produce facility in the system and other light it proved critical to already success in the frontline sectors. Fully operational, the facility is however wonderfully short of defensive weapons. They will trade but they but you will have to pay. Okay. So you see I can buy a heavy cannon, which is basically going to basic cannon, heavy cannon, rapid cannon, basic cannon. So let's actually get what is this doing? Launches drone. So I can I, I can modify this probably. But let's actually get, uh, I don't know, rapid cannon. I'm going to install it and I can only put it on one of those areas. Do I want to replace one of those ship, one of those attachments or not? I'm not sure. Let, let, let's not do it just because. Okay, let's jump again. Let's jump again to this location. Okay, we arrived. A tire woman who hails you, it's neither a carrier, you can that basically you can create some part of your stories. What will you do? What will you choose? So then we will move on. She's sound relief. Thank you, Commander. I said let's put it under that. Okay, so let's jump again. Let's jump here. We arrived. Instead of throwing us turn the number of trade vessels. Okay, order the fleet to attack captures those colonies. So basically this is one of the missions uh, types. You see, I'm I'm, I'm, if I press one, I'm, I will select my main ship and I can move it. If I select two, I can select the other ship or I can do you know, like a box like in a strategy game and I can move them like this. So basically what I have to do, if you see the minimap, I have to capture this one, this one and this one. Now, some of the missions are interesting, but some of the missions were fairly bored, boring, mainly because uh, of balancing reason. This is the reason why <laughs> I mentioned a couple of times that, holy shit, move. You, it's not really a good idea to stand still and they, some ships actually have some kind of laser beam that's really doing a shitload of damage. So this is kind of this is basically kind of the game. Oh, move again! Wow, oh, I lost it. Well, it's basically been, been disabled. If I manage to win this, I will uh, may basically be able to take it back and maybe repair the ship. But this is kind of uh, the purpose of the game. This is the core of the game. You jump through system, you read the story, and depending on uh, what happens, you will have to control the fleet like uh, this. So it's kind of a micromanagement here. I have to, uh, you know, really work my micro skills. Um, some ships have various abilities, as you saw, attachments and other stuff like that. So it's also an interesting things on how you maybe balance everything, on how you do the mission. So it's not like in 50 uh, in FTL where you manage your your guys, you know that you have you here. You manage your fleets. So it's uh, it's an interesting game with an interesting visual appeal. Uh, I love the music and I'm really looking forward to see what they are going to add besides what's currently here. Uh, as again, they said that in, by March they hope to reach the beta phases when they will stop adding features and uh, they will start the balancing purposes so if you purchase the game right now keep in mind that it's still in uh, an early access in, in a really alpha state not all the features are in and you will encounter balance pro per uh, balance problems like I, i've reached a mission where monsters well not monsters ships enemy ships kept coming and they kept coming and they didn't really pose a threat so i kind of got bored and i wasn't sure when they are going to end are they going to stop uh, coming or what's going to happen you know so this is one of the things why i mentioned the balancing uh, things so anyway thank you guys for watching this video hopefully this was useful to you uh, you know and you will be able to form a decision if you if this is a game you want to purchase or not if you like my video please uh, like it and subscribe for more uh, videos uh, if you dislike it please dis dislike it but please tell me why because i do want to improve my videos so 
Thank you guys for watching. Uh, see you soon. Bye.